Introducing the brand new Rock Mobile Mount. So today I want to introduce you the brand new Rock Mobile Mount and I want to show you what do you get when you get the Mobile Mount, how does the R3 Pro connect to the Mobile Mount, and we're going to go outside and install it on my car and I'm going to show you how all that works. So right here, this is the new Mobile Mount. It comes with everything you see right here, as well as what's in these two baggies here and here. These are some standoffs as well as a tether and then your GPS cable that goes from your antenna to the R3 Pro. Now, if we take a look at this, we have four very sturdy, very sturdy legs. Look at these guys, very, very thick. I'm a big, big guy. I think if I tighten this thing down all the way and I, if it was on something really secure, I don't know, it might hold my weight, I don't know. It's, these things are huge, so I wouldn't actually hang from it, don't do that. Um, but then you get four of these suction cups. So you can configure this and suction cup it to your car. I mean, you can do it on a boat. Anything that has a smooth surface, those suction cups will adhere too well, will work. Um, just make sure you clean those surfaces beforehand. Use some uh, Windex, make sure they're clean. So you can lose them, you can reconfigure the legs, lock them down wherever you need. And then the way these suction cups work is uh, they just have this little orange. So you put it on that surface and start pumping it down until the orange disappears. Once that orange is gone, that's when you know it's full suctioned. Uh, a couple other things that I really like about this is this, this is the exact same antenna from the rock base and this actually allows us this fixed lever arm. So now whenever the R3 Pro is mounted on here, which I'll do really quickly, just in a second, um, you'll see there's always a fixed lever arm. Meaning like when you do calibration, we know the distance from here to the LiDAR very well. So all this, you know, calibrating stuff for the lever arm, not that big of a deal. We know what it is. We've measured it here uh, at the factory before we sent it to you and that is, that works really well. So let's talk about the other thing that you need to make the mobile mount work. The Slam Dock version two, and it has the 360 camera on here. So you can do colorized mobile LiDAR data, which is awesome. And also you get the uh, photo spheres from this as well. So inspection photo spheres. Uh, you see here on the side, we have the, uh, GPS connection. This is power for the 360 camera and then power that connects into the power brick that comes with it. So we have four of these screw attachment points as well as the center one here and we're going to use these four to connect it to the mobile mount. Let's go ahead and connect this to the mobile mount and then we'll connect the R3 Pro to this. So here inside these other two bags, we have a little tether strap, the oh crap strap, as we call it. Uh, so what we're gonna do is, so we have four of these. So this is a, I don't know if you guys can see that, a riser, a standoff screw here. So we're gonna attach those standoffs to the mobile mount. We've got four of them. And we will need an Allen wrench for this. Actually, I think first what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach them to the bottom of the slam dock. Okay, I'm gonna remove, you see those little screws here. Remove each one of those. And now we can mount the Slam Dock V2 to the mobile mount. Got two in, got two more to go. Okay, so there you go. Now you can see the Slam Dock V2 is mounted to the mobile mount. And now we're gonna take the R3 Pro 
again, just look how small the R3 Pro is, right? It's, I, always amazes me. So just put this right here, slide it in, lines with those pins, just like that, and then we screw it down. And last but not least, let's attach the antenna to the R3 Pro. Let's turn this around for you so we can all see this. Always be gentle. These are RF cables. I'm always gentle with them just to make sure. And there you go. Now we have the mold mount ready to be attached to the car. So we want the antenna to be going straight up and down. So that's what we're gonna try doing. We'll see how it works. I need that one right there. So let's push that down and Very nice, this is working out pretty good. It's actually my first time installing it on this car, so. Well, check that out. That ain't going nowhere, guys. This is, that's very attached. Just gonna find a place to tie this down onto the car. Let's do it. All right guys, I just finished attaching the mobile mount to the car. I'll take a quick look of how I installed it. So I have the antenna being straight up and down and that is kind of the guiding principle here. So keep that up and down as well as you can and a little tilt's okay. And then just make sure you got four good points of contact. The suction cups are really well adhered. The surfaces is very clean. Have the oh crap strap on, that's it. You should be good to go. Now let me grab the power cable and the battery and plug it in. Okay, so I got the battery here and the power cable. Now I would recommend, so on Amazon, you can buy a USB-C to USB-C, like a three foot extender. You can do that, just it'll do the USB-C to C extension. So that way you can put this battery maybe closer to the front of the car instead of the back, depending on where you, uh, where you need to be. There we go. And that's how you install the mobile mount, the new Rock R3 Pro. See you on the next one. Ready to dive into the future of mapping? We've got a whole series of live webinars planned on rockrobotic.com where we'll deep dive into our products and services showing you exactly how they're going to radically change your mapping projects. Don't miss it.